So as much as I like my Ping I-2s, that's not the reason that we're here today. We're not at the driving range, we're at the shooting range. And that's because we're going to cross the two sports, golf and shooting. We're going to be launching golf balls, but it's going to be with the X Products golf ball adapter to the Can Cannon. And we're going to do like we did before with the regular Can Cannon. We're going to run some golf balls through the chronograph. We're going to see how fast they're flying. We're going to measure their weight in grains, and we're going to figure out not only the muzzle velocity, but the muzzle energy these things are putting down, just as though it were regular ammunition. Stick around, this should be fun. This is the driver that you expect to see when you watch this channel. That's the purpose of what we do, not so much golf. But like I said at the beginning today, we're gonna to blend the two. We're gonna be using the X Products golf ball attachment to the Can Cannon, and we're gonna measure the performance of these golf balls. And I think that it might be surprising to you. It's been surprising to me so far in the few shots that I've taken just to test my equipment. I really think you're gonna enjoy this one. Before we get too busy, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't already. It only takes a second and it's free. And don't forget to check out the merch that we have that Bunker Branding offers for us. So let's start collecting some numbers and we're gonna learn a little bit about golf whether we're trying to or not. And so far, I found it really interesting. First of all, golf balls are not all the same. I was surprised by that. I thought most of the compatible name balls would have the same specifications, but they don't. So we've got four different types that we're gonna focus on for the purposes of this video. We have Fuzz golf balls, F-U-Z-Z, -Z, which average 709 grains in weight. We have Cougar golf balls, 712 grains is their average weight. We have the MC Distance, their average weight is 700 grains. And then we have the Top Flight XL, good old Top Flight XLs. Their average is 708 grains. So let's, uh, let's collect some muzzle velocity data and then we'll put it together with the weight and let's see what kind of muzzle energy these things are actually making. So to start with, the first thing that we do is just load up a regular magazine with blanks. And this blank ammo, these particular rounds I got from right directly from X products. So if you're concerned that you haven't been able to find blank ammo, check with them because they've had quite a bit of it in stock the last few times I've checked with them. You can use any magazine that I've found. I like these little 20 rounders. Everything is manually operated anyway, so you don't need a higher standard capacity mag. 20 rounder works just fine. The way we utilize the golf ball adapter is just like we do with the can cannon. We drop the round down the tube, and then I did bring a golf club with me, but it's only to be used for seating, because when the golf ball goes down, I want to make sure it drops all the way to the barrel, so there's no gap there. It's actually sitting right on the extension. Then you charge it, load the blank, and then fire it. Today we're going to be doing four rounds three balls per round so we can measure an average and we're going to start with the fuzz fuzz number one Three hundred and fifty five feet per second. Number two, Three seventy eight. And fuzz number three. <laughs> 
383. Next, the Cougar. Three seventy five. Cougar number two. Three sixty six. And Cougar number three. Three seventy three. Next, we're going to do the MC distance. Three eighty <clears throat> three seventy five. Three forty two. And last but not least, top flight. You didn't think we'd just get a bucket of range balls, did you? To test something so important? No, and we can't do that. Not when accuracy is of the paramount of the most importance. Top flight number one. Three seventy nine. Top flight number two. Three seventy and top flight number three. Three sixty eight. Good tight split there. So let's crunch these numbers up a little bit and let's see if we can kind of make some sense with them and equate them towards other projectiles that we're a little bit more familiar in launching, definitely more familiar in collecting data for. So running the numbers after we collect them is pretty interesting. You may or may not know, I didn't know until looking this up, that a professional golfer can hit the ball at 180 miles per hour when it leaves the face of their club 180 miles per hour 
that equals 265 feet per second. That is a hundred feet per second slower than the X Products golf ball launcher. So already out of the bat, you as an X Products golf ball launcher owner are throwing that ball uh, faster than a professional golfer. How cool is that? I didn't have any idea. So when I was going through the rest of these numbers, they all averaged out very close. Even though the weights were a little bit off and the velocities were a little bit off, in the end, the fuzz golf balls were averaging 372 feet per second. That gives us a muzzle energy of 217 foot-pounds of energy. The Cougars were averaging 371 feet per second. That gives us a muzzle energy also of 217 feet per second. The MC distance, 371. They were the same as the Cougars. And that gave us a muzzle uh, energy of 213 foot-pounds. Theirs were just a little bit lighter, averaging 700 grains. And the Top Flight XL averaged 372 feet per second. That gives us 217 foot-pounds. So all of them came in at 217 foot-pounds, except for the MC distance, a little bit lower at 213 foot-pounds of energy. So what can we compare that to that matters? What, what, is, what can we compare that to that means anything? A 25 auto pistol, a 45 grain projectile at 815 feet per second, which is typical for that, gives you 66 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. 66. We're averaging 217 with the golf ball launcher. 32 auto, 60 grains at 970 feet per second gives us 125 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. We're doing 217. 38 Special, everybody's aware of 38 Special, pretty decent round. 110 grain projectile at 945 feet per second, 218 foot-pounds of energy. 218, where does that sound familiar? Oh, 217. Can you imagine that? That golf ball is coming out of there with the same amount of energy as your, as your typical 38 Special with 110, uh, 110 grain hollow point. How cool is that? So to answer a couple questions that, that I'd been asked, um, the first that I get is, what is the recoil like? And the recoil is almost non-existent. There's really, there's really no recoil at all with this thing. Uh, second question I get is, how loud is that? It's really loud. You're going to want to wear hearing protection. It's very, very loud. These blanks might not be throwing a, a traditional projectile, but there's a lot of powder in these things, and they are very loud. So that's going to wrap up these tests the X Products uh, golf ball launcher attachment for the Can Cannon. We finally have the data that we were looking for, and the average is 217 foot pounds of energy, 371 feet per second. Uh, with a 700-ish grain projectile. I think that's just cool as hell. We got a lot of good feedback when we did the same thing with the Can Cannon, and I'll put the link over here uh, to the video with the Can Cannon where we ran, I can't even remember what we were running, cans of beer uh, through the chronograph. I can't believe I haven't destroyed this chronograph yet. Um, Caldwell seems to make a decent chronograph, evidently. But I haven't hit it. I haven't hit it straight on. I'm thinking a golf ball or a can of beer would probably be problematic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Uh, double check even if you think you do because I'm hearing stories all the time about people who say they haven't seen any of our content. Don't forget to check out uh, the link for Bunker Branding down below for the cool merch that we have. And uh, if you just like the top guns, Facebook is a pretty good place to do that at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Till next time, have fun and be safe.